it takes the bonding out. And we know that there is an actuarial study that says that there is an unfunded liability. So what we are proposing is between now and the next session, by December 18th, we form the same type of group to come back January of 2016 to make a series of recommendations. I would suspect it will be much like that we saw in 2013 and dealt with in this chamber. With that, Mr. President, these are some of the facts. We know that the KTRS delivered to us last week about 10 items, uh, not going to say for sure, nine or 10, that needed to be changed to make this viable in perpetuity, not just for a few years, that they think we need to address. I'm sure, as the Senator from Pike talked about, there may be other issues that need to be addressed. Looking at how they invest, you know, placement agents, what their costs are. So we need to look at that. But we also need to be mindful of this, Mr. President, members of the body. Teachers don't qualify and aren't allowed to participate in Social Security. So it's a different set of facts than KERS. And we have to be very much aware of the differing factors. So with that, Mr. President, House Bill 4, as amended by Senate Committee Substitute, would set up that mechanism to look at this system, to come back and make recommendations. There may be financial re recommendations of additional contributions. There may be oversight recommendations. There may be systemic changes that need to take place. But we are willing to go on that journey to see what we can do to make sure of one thing. That is, the current teachers that are in the system and the retirees that are currently drawing benefits from having been an active and employed, employed teacher will receive their benefits, not just for 10, 15 years, but that we can stabilize this fund and make it actuarially sound in perpetuity. 